Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and more of our 24-hour marathon of Jane Fonda movies. Up next, the film that gave Fonda her first Academy Award from 1971, directed by Alan Pakula. Fonda co-stars with Donald Sutherland in Clute. Fonda was a big star by the end of the 1960s, but her biggest successes had come in romantic comedies, notably Barefoot in the Park and Sunday in New York, as well as a Western comedy, Cat Baloo. Fonda was weary of being typecast. She was eager to challenge herself. She rose to the challenge, delivering a memorable performance as a cynical, hard luck, Depression-era marathon dancer in a 1969 drama, They Shoot Horses, Don't They?, opposite Michael Sarazen. She impressed critics and the Academy, earning her first nomination for Best Actress. Clute further confirmed her dramatic power. On the surface, this is a crime thriller set in New York. Donald Sutherland plays the title character, John Clute, a detective hired to investigate the disappearance of a businessman. His work leads him to a wannabe actress working as a call girl to pay the bills. The story is intriguing, but what makes the movie compelling is Fonda as Bree Daniels, the call girl. She is tough, smart, guarded, and at times appropriately afraid. This was a psychologically realistic look at a sex worker's life in the 70s. Bree is no schemer like Shirley Jones and Elmer Gantry, or a hooker with a heart of gold like Shirley MacLaine's Irma LaDuce, or a tragic beauty like Elizabeth Taylor in Butterfield 8. Pauline Kael called Bree one of the strongest feminine characters to reach the screen. A number of critics consider Clute the first of director Alan Pakula's paranoia trilogy of the 70s, which includes The Parallax View and All the President's Men. From 1971, also with Roy Scheider, this is Clute. After director Alan Pakula told Jane Fonda she got the part in Clute, Fonda spent a week with a number of people working in the sex industry, mostly call girls, but also madams and pimps. Initially, Fonda felt she was wrong for the role and told Pakula Faye Dunaway would be better. Pakula disagreed. The call girls Fonda interviewed had similar stories, and Fonda generally found them to be highly intelligent women who could have made a living in mainstream professions. Most of them were survivors of sexual abuse. And then Fonda researched what abuse does to the psychology of survivors. At the time, she had just separated from her French husband, Barbarella director Roger Vadim, and was feeling what she called the early sprouts of feminism. That newfound energy went into her performance and inspired her to suggest one script change. The role of a therapist was originally written as a man. Fonda felt her character would reveal herself more openly to a woman. Bakula loved the idea and cast Vivian Nathan in the role. And coming up next, we have Roger Vadim's film, Barbarella, with Jane Fonda in Outer Space. <laughs> 